This is how I drew the hardest ever character design in an art commission that I ever got. I'm going to show my process of drawing. I'm going to narrate and show it to you and lie to you how to pass through hell. I mean, how to pass through something that is challenging you. First things first, don't think of details. Right there, I'm just adding the base colors. Heck yeah, just add base colors. Be happy with them. And after you add the base colors, why not create a new layer on multiply? using clipping mask too to be in the base color layer and using a little bit darker color select only the places with lasso 2 select with lasso 2 the places that you want the color to be there and then you just start painting there with a big brush heck yeah and that's how you made the selection of the first layer of shadow you don't think like oh i gotta get all the perfect shadows no you think first hey where the main shadows would be where the main thing would be happening Always thinking, hey, I want this specific area to get more light, to get more more views, to get literally more views, more eyes looking into that. After that, I create a new layer, also clipping mask, and I use that as color dodge. I choose specific places that are going to receive the opposite that I did with shadows, the specific places that are going to receive loads, 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 loads of light. Like loads. I, I'm, I'm serious here. I'm serious. Loads of light. And I can pick a color that is close to the one that I'm using like in the blue tones I choose a brighter blue or in the yellow tones I choose a brighter yellow in the gray or brighter gray all those things and the last thing that I do almost last you could say that is to create ring light what is ring light just the light you create in the corner of the face or the silhouette of your character so you can have that mm, I see the silhouette of this character and this character mm -hmm, looks amazing just because I can see its silhouette this character is the best character ever I have ever seen damn boy and after that there is another layer I like creating a soft light layer what is my soft light layer my soft light layer is going to help me understand what is the overall gradient happening in this case I wanted to make everything in the down area in the downside more warm warmer and everything up bluish cooler cooler tones up warmer tones down and that's how i thought mm, okay that's a cool gradient that's a cool thing i can work with Let, let's go heck yeah mm -hmm. and then i create a new layer of overlay to make certain places extremely strong Do, you guys can see that i abuse effects on layer modes and brush modes so much because they can save you so much time do you think i'm going to draw each thing already thinking oh this plus this is not na 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 let the layer do the work for you you don't need to do that <laughs> So I use overlay when I think, oh, the colors are not strong enough, so I make them get strong enough. And after that, I use my lovely, amazing screen mode. What screen mode does? Well, you can see my character have amazing colors. I'm not joking, amazing colors. But they are hard to work with. They are extremely hard to work with. Green, blue, red, and yellow in the same, it's hard to work with them. So you gotta choose doing something called hierarchy. You gotta make some some stronger some weaker and that's always always a rule that you must do if you want to have everything fine because green is extra strong blue is extra strong yellow is strong red is strong you gotta make someone pop up and someone pop out you cannot go like no everything is going to go extra strong let's go you're gonna kill my eyes if you do that don't you dare do that okay so i use screen mode to make all of the shoulder area all of the side of the face and ear just vanish a little bit into the deep blue of the sky that's what i do that's exactly what i do and anything that also is going to have that deep blue like eyes i just add that we we are simple we add what must be added and only after i have done all of this base in a separate layer you start doing the texture and be careful with that texture okay separate it never do a crazy texture this is the, the real thing okay never ever do a crazy texture in the same layer as your base color no because the texture is going to need changes it needs to show that hey it's in different shapes it's bending or it's in different perspective you gotta be sure that you're showing the real thing here happening not some kind of cop and 
paste, tada, texture. No, you want to be a crazy pro artist, not someone that just copy and paste. You are not like that. You will never do this, right? Hmm, right. So in a separate layer, I just start doing the texture. And after that, that's right. We start with my most amazing tool. Before I start that, I just merge up all the layers in the character, but not the texture, okay? All the effect layers, but not the texture. I merge them up and I start using my favorite amazing tool called Smudge Tool. All the programs have that too. I use that to do for texture and make everything smooth. Since I know that's something that I had a lot of struggle with, I already go like, hmm, Smudge Tool helps me make things smooth. If I'm too hard, Smudge Tool can help me get soft. I make all the fur get soft, fluffy, big, and woo! That's how we do that. Remember to not make any kind of stroke too strong with smudge too. That's extra important. And then pretty much just get into refining. Oh, Gaps, but what is refining to you may not be what is refining to me. You are making me confused. Okay, I start getting even more specific references. Like for the eyes reflection, I got even more specific references because I know that the base that I did is just a base and I can improve that. Keep in mind that you can always, always improve your artwork. So just go pick a reference and start comparing like, oh, is mine great enough? Mine cannot be like a 7 out of 10. It must be a 10 out of 10. I tried my very best and then I keep on going. And then I keep on going. That's how I like to think in my art progress. I only stop when that thing is a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't stop if it's a 9. I don't stop if it's an 8. I go like, hey, is this a 10? Did I give my everything in this? Did I truly give my everything? in the conditions that I was feeling or anything else. After adding smudge to, after doing all the magics that I like to do with that, I also add a layer of brush strokes because the best thing is doing both together, not only one, but mixing up those. And I start removing each line, each sketch line by each sketch line. It's not like there's a trick, remove all of them at the same time. No, no, no. It's one by one. I take my time into doing that. And not only that, I start right now adding more color dodge and doing certain places is stronger. Yeah, heck yeah. Now I go crazy on light. Now I start just going all out. Hey, this place is going to be extra strong light. And this other place, not so strong light. And I keep on trying to get the right light that I want. Trying to get the warm light from below. And there is the two that I love so much, call it curves. You know, curves, I love curves. That's how I make my colors pop up even more. Because, hey, I'm not going to get all that by myself. No, no, no. Computer have this amazing to call it curves. And you can just go and mix up on red, green, and blue channels. See which one works the best. I'm activating a lot of the blues and a little bit of reddish tones, okay? That's what I'm doing. So there's not any more the fight between blue, red, green in yellow. Now there is a dominant color. Now there is, and it's blue. There will be a long time me just rendering the mouth. I really like to make specific places in my artwork crazily render it, and other places not so render it. Because this, this mix of extra details and zero details makes your art even more rich, even more, wow, amazing. That's incredible, Gabs. I want to draw like you. And the hair. The hair, I was really thinking if I should just go all out. Hey, let's go and draw hair by hair. No, since this is a more funny character, it's going to be a little bit of more cartoon anime hair. I didn't think, no, I'm, I'm not going to make a lot of details on that hair. No, 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 no. Keep it simple, keep it cool. And then after all of that, I get into the real process of rendering, rendering, rendering. What is rendering? Picking my brush and drawing detail by detail and fixing each part, literally each part. I don't let a single part go out, not a single one. And I love doing the fur in the ear area because it's so amazing to do that fur. Oh my, I love it, seriously, because I do exactly the movement. There's something that I enjoy so much about fur. That's why I'm so good at it. It's that I really love to see it as movement, seeing that as a river flowing by, seeing it as something happening, not something static. And I recommend you guys to see fur that way. It's like a song, you just go with the flow, you know? You just see the movement and you make the fur following that movement. There is no quick trip, trick or tip that could save you on that. It's pretty much just, hey, go in this direction. 
fish and this. I follow the flow. I pretty much get on fixing the texture. What is happening with the texture? I need to make sure that it's textured on fur. I could not just leave it there the way it is. No, if it's on fur, I gotta show this texture is made of fur. So I pick up smudge too and just try swish, 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 swish on it and going it on it smooth, not hardcore. If you go too hardcore, you can pretty much just lose your progress. So just go swish, 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 very light. Very, very light. And then I add a second layer of screen. It's screen I love so much. I use that so much. Because one of my main troubles in art is that I tend to make everything too hard, everything too contrast, everything too strong. And when I understood that my problem was to add things that are soft, that are gentle, I was like, oh, okay, screen go, makes color, make all the colors soft with zero contrast. Please help me. Please help me. And that's what happened. I'm doing the addition of screen on all of the ring light, all of the strong highlights, on everything that I want to be calling more attention. I do that. And then I add a second layer of curves. That's right, a second one. Not only one, I add a second one. Because you can always improve more. I felt in my heart I could make it better. So that's what I did. If you were feeling, hey, I did this, it looks good, but we can improve that. Go out there and improve that. That that gut feeling is right. That gut feeling is always right, bro. Trust trust your gut feeling. Damn. Um, I would say that there's another effect that helped me a lot with this very hard complex design. It was adding blur. You guys know that I went out into making certain places brighter and less contrast, but not only that. There's a second thing called adding blur. And blur makes everything blurry. And what that blur does takes out the viewer attention from the edges, what I did in this case. So you only look at the face. So everything around, all the textures around doesn't seem too hardcore, doesn't seem like it's going to hurt you too much. And I added my basic combo of chromatic aberration, grain, what more? Um, things flying, basic trees. And all of that. And that's, that's a wrap. That, that's finished. <laughs> Tell me if you have any questions in the comments below about my process. Because that's pretty much what I think, how I see my process in painting. I have that basic list of uh, multiply shadows. Shadows, add strong shadows, add strong light, add, add ring light, add a gradient to make everything go well together. That's like a list that I always do, like, ba, 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 ba. yeah, look good. And if after it doesn't look good, I try to fix that into curves. I try to fix that adding another layer or removing a little bit. But it's it's a thing that I have been doing for years and it works so well that I don't know why to not use it. Why not don't you try using it? Hmm? Why not? Hmm? I see that as a win-win situation. So champs, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Check out the description if you want to learn art with me. I'll link pack guys. Link promo 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 50% off. I'll link pack with the code GBT15. Bye bye.